So as part of our sex, drugs and rock and roll, we want to have a look at drugs. And for drugs, I mean alcohol, recreational and pharmacological drugs. And again, you know, it, it really is uh, another sticky point. But nevertheless, it forms part of who you are. My dad's addiction was to booze. It was his undoing. And I, I loved him just the same, regardless of... of of, of how much he drank. I can remember many times him coming home absolutely wrecked. You know, he'd get up in the morning, he'd go for his coffee and cognac, he'd slip into the back cupboard and and, um, and have a have a vodka because you couldn't smell it on his breath and pretend to be eating biscuits. I can remember people looking down his nose at him if we were out and he was drunk and I used to just think, well, you know, he has an illness, he has a disease, and if he can't help himself, he can't help himself. You know, he did eventually kick it, and he, he, he did it with my mum's help. It was tough, but it, it wrecked his body, and it, it, it made a, it had a, a lasting and major impact on, on all of us, but it gave me an understanding of of alcohol as being something that that needs to be respected and you know if, if people drink they drink and when they're ready for help they're ready for help and and likewise with drugs so i think you know that that drugs and alcohol pretty much in the same category if, if people take drugs that's fine you know if you want to take them take them what's it got to do with me it's it's your life it's your decision but but you know if you if you've taken them they're, they're part of your story and you know if you have had a battle with 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 both drink and drugs tell us tell us what you learned tell us all about it you know it might be that that recreational drugs formed and alcohol formed part of your party years and you might have had great fun tell us about it you know, it might be that drink and drugs are part of your family life, part of your social circle. They might have been the catalyst that, that moved you into prison. They might have been something that gave you a near-death experience. And you may have had an addiction that you eventually passed on to a child. You still may be taking drugs. That you might have been dr um, prescribed drugs by your doctor. Um, and drugs might form part of some kind of investigation that, that you've been doing about, you know, prescription drugs and how they get prescribed so easily. You might be writing some kind of self-help help about how you got off drugs. And I think that writing about drugs is a, is a really, really therapeutic thing and um, really, really important. It's something that, that I, I want people to share with the world and you know what frankly who gives a toss if you took drugs you know what is important is that is that you recognize why you did it why you're doing it how you've tried to get off and and and, and how sharing your sh your story is going to make not only a powerful impact on other people's lives but how it makes an impact on yours and you know by writing about it you really really can move into a new chapter so come on, let's hear your let's hear your drugs and alcohol stories. So whatever you're going to write about, the best thing to do is get yourself a journal, find a great place to write. I'm in my, my sun house, which is just perfect. Relax, take some deep breaths, think about the book that you want to write and just write. You can contact me at Jackie at JackieMalfast.com. And often the videos are influenced. Mm -hmm.